The next method of free space management is grouping. It can be considered as a modification of the linked free space list implementation to linked indexed method of implementation. In the linked free space method, we can see that each block keeps exactly one address to one free block. Thus, with one disk block access, we get only the address of one free block. Thus, in grouping, we modify it such that each block keeps a group of addresses or n number of addresses at a time. Here, the free space list head points to the first free block. Here the first free block is block 10 which contains a group of addresses of a particular number of free blocks and the last address, the block pointed by the last address. Here the last address is 13 points to block 13 which contains another set of addresses of another set of free blocks. Again the block pointed by the last address in it contains the addresses of another set of free blocks and so on. Hence each block is acting as an index to the free blocks and such index blocks are linked together. Hence we can say that this is an a linked indexed implementation. The main advantage here is with one disk block access we get the addresses of a group of free blocks. The next method is counting. Here in this example of linked free space list we can see that here we have one free block then we are having a contiguous set of three free blocks. Even then we do keep the addresses of each and every free block in this method as well as in grouping. So to avoid it in counting we do keep a count of the number of contiguous blocks. So here the free space list consists of the address of the first free block. Here it is block 10 and the number of contiguous free blocks after it. Here the number is 1, 2, 3. The number of contiguous blocks following block 10 is 3. Then the address of next free block, the address of next free block is 16 and the number of contiguous free blocks after it, the count is 5. Again the address of next free block and the number of contiguous blocks after it is 1. And the next free block is 28 and the count of the number of free blocks after it is 3. So here unlike the previous method each entry is having two values but in most cases the files are allocated and deallocated as a contiguous block. Thus if there are more contiguous blocks if the contiguous free blocks are more frequent then the length of this entire list can be kept small.